So we need common denominators, so we already have them. So all we do is we put the equal sign running down the left like we've done the whole time. Every single time we have a simplify, we're simplifying each step down, right? And they are all equal. So that's why we have equal signs running down the left-hand side whenever it's a simplify, no matter what operation. Then we write the whole, so we have a 3 and a 3 as our denominator, so then we write the whole denominator as 3. So you learned in junior high and in elementary school that when you had a common denominator, then you could actually do the do the math of the top, right? And you wrote one denominator. If you write two denominators, what was the point of getting the common denominator, right? So we get a common denominator, we write it once, and then we show our work on the top. So now we get 2x minus x. So we get the one denominator, and then we show everything in the numerator. Make sure you're writing this down. You have notes in front of your face. You're on page 11. Then we just collect like terms of the top. So we get 2x minus 1x is x over 3. Do I have any non-permissible values? Does my denominator have any variables in it? Nope. Done. If only it were just like this all the time. So we're going to look at B. B has, we, the first thing we have to do, it has an addition sign, correct? So the very first thing we do when we see an addition sign is we say common denominator. I have to make a common denominator. Oh, I already have one. Perfect. So if I have one, then I can go to step two. Step two is to write them over one common denominator. And I rewrite my whole numerator. So 2a minus 3 plus 9a plus 1. The hardest part for most of this is just knowing what steps to do. Because you'll start mixing, meshing it with multiplication and, or multiplying and dividing, right? So you have to always keep it in mind, if multiply, divide, follow this part of the, the path, right? Adding, subtracting, follow this part of the path, okay? So make a common denominator, write it over one denominator, collect like terms on the top. So I have 2a plus 9a is 11a. And then negative 3 plus 1 is minus 2. I can't put them together because they are not like terms, right? That's as good as it gets. And what is it all over? 5. Now some people will say, well, can I do some canceling after this? You could if there was something in common. But if you look, we still need to use our rule. This is 11a minus 2. If it gets you to stop canceling wrong, put it in brackets. Because the 11a and the 2 are sewn together by the minus sign still, correct? So they're in their own brackets. So how am I getting rid of 11a minus 2? There has to be an entire 11a minus 2 in your denominator. Do you have one? No. So can I reduce this anymore? Nope. I'm done. Do I have to show the brackets? No. But if putting the brackets gets you to stop reducing like crazy at the end, then that's good. I want you to try C and D. Use pencil. Here I have a common denominator, 4 and 4. So I'm going to write it all over 4. Then I write my numerator out. I have 3x plus x. If it's easier for you, put a 1. Now, honestly, I find that people find adding and subtracting hard, not because they can't find common denominators, not because they can't do rationals, but because they're collecting like terms is crappy. You just don't know how to collect them. You don't know if you multiply them, you don't know if you, like, do you put them squared, do you do whatever. So think about collecting like terms, and like think about the variable as like an object. So it's x's, I can think of it as apples, or it's x's, I can think of it as xylophones. So I have three xylophones, I add another xylophone, how many xylophones do I have? I have four. So I have four x's over four. Whereas back here, I couldn't put them together. Here it would be like, I have 11 apples, I minus off two something else's. Can I put them together? It's like trying to put an apple with an orange. Can you make them be all apples or all oranges? No, it's not possible. So think of the variable like an actual object. I don't really care. It sounds stupid, but it is the way to make you not screw up and you will be adding, totally adding apples and yams and whatever it could be. I don't care. But it causes people to stop making mistakes because people want to try and put that together. I have 11 apples minus two blanks, whatever it may be. I can't put them together. They're not the same object. Correct? So adding and subtracting, you have to put together the same objects or you can't put them together at all. So this one, though, I have the 4, and it's just multiplied by the x, and the 4 down here, so the 4s can actually cross off, and I can get an x. 
So your very last step in adding and subtracting, if you can cancel with real canceling rules, you can. Now for D, I would star it. I would star D because most people will do it wrong. Kind of setting you up for disaster, that's why I told you to use a pencil. Now, everything else we've done so far has been an addition or a subtraction of a monomial. But for this one, I have sixes, which is good. So I have a common denominator of six. I'm going to write it all over six. The catch, though, is, is I have 5y minus 1. People who try and do this in two steps scare me because they make oopsies. Now, I'm trying to minus everything behind it. We agree? This should make sense. So you shouldn't even make oopsies because it should make sense that that's what you're trying to do. Everything behind this minus sign, I'm trying to subtract. We agree? So what a lot of people will do is they'll go minus 4y plus 7. If you're that person, you made the common error, and it will be there as one of the options for you to pick. Because then you did not actually subtract the 7. So watch yourself. I have to subtract the 4y, so I get minus 4y, but I also have to subtract the 7. So it's a minus 7. So whenever you have a binomial rational behind the subtraction sign, you have to remember to distribute the subtraction. If you did not do that, make sure you're paying attention. There's too many phones out, and trust me, I'm not doing this for my own welfare. I'm really good at these. Um, I should be. I do them a lot. Okay, so if I don't distribute the negative sign, I'm going to have a plus 7. I'm going to get an answer, and that answer will be there. It will be wrong, and you'll think you're right because it matches, and you'll be so happy when you're actually wrong, and you don't even know you should be sad. Okay? So when you subtract, make sure you distribute. If you were someone who didn't do that, which I'm suspicious is like 90% of you, and teach it to you, like threw that at you, and I know that if you make a mistake and then you correct it, you're going to remember the mistake more than if I just teach it to you and you didn't have a mistake, then you'll just be like, forget it. So I always make you make the mistake first, correct the mistake, and it'll stay better. If you were one of those people that did make this mistake, did put the plus 7, star, 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 remind yourself, subtract everything behind the subtraction sign. Okay? Now I can collect like terms. So I'm going to get 5 yams minus 4 yams is 1 yam. And then I have negative 1 blanks minus 7 more blanks. How many blanks do I have? Minus 8. Now are these sewn together? Is there a minus sign between these two terms? The y and the 8? Yeah. So it's in bracket. So can I cross this 6 off with the 8? Can I cancel the 6 with the 8? No. The y minus 8 is connected. So the only way y minus 8 is going away is if there's a y minus 8 in the bottom. I don't have to take MPBs. I'm going to rewrite this so it doesn't look as ridiculous as I have it right now. It only looks ridiculous because I drew the line really long. No MPBs. We're going to look at example 2. What's the problem with example 2? Still no MPVs, which is great, but I don't have a common denominator. And until I have a common denominator, I can do nothing. That is the very first thing you have to do, right? You can't add and subtract fractions unless you have common denominators. So what's common to 4 and 3? 12. So if I multiply this one by 3 on the bottom, I'm going to get 3x over 12. Is that the same thing as 3x over 4? No. So that's why if I multiply the bottom by 3, I also have to multiply the numerator by 3. And then this one I'm going to multiply by 4. If I multiply the denominator by 4, I also have to multiply the numerator by 4. So on the left, we get 3x times 3. What's 3x times 3? What is 3x times 3? 9x over 12 minus x times 4 is 4x over 12. So step one is done. I have a common denominator. Then I can write the whole numerator over the denominator. We agree? So I get 9x minus 4x all over 12. And then this is the case where we can talk about xylophones again. We have nine xylophones. We subtract four xylophones. How many xylophones do we have? Five xylophones. So 5x's over 12. And nothing can reduce there because 5 and 12 have nothing in common, even though they're monomials. Do I have a common denominator? Do I have NPVs, I meant to say? Do I have NPVs? 
No, because there's no variable from the denominator. Okay, B, I have 3 and I have 6. What can, what can I make them in common? Some people say 18, but there's actually something easier. Yeah, there's 12, which I could do. Then I have to go 4 and 2, or I could even do 6, which means I just have to change the left side of 1. If you don't do the smallest common denominator, it's not the end of the world, but you're going to have to cross stuff off at the very end. So it just makes more work for you. So always try and find the smallest common denominator. So I'm just going to multiply this one by 2. Now remember when you multiply the numerator by 2, I have to multiply everything in the numerator. So I get 6a minus 2 all over 6 plus 4a plus 5 all over 6. So to make a common denominator, we don't always have to do both denominators, right? And you do want to try and find the smallest one. If you don't, if we did 12 or we did 18, at the very end, we'd have to simplify it, pull out terms out of both and cancel. So it is easier if you have a common denominator. So I just distributed the 2 through, and I got 6a minus 2. Now I have a common denominator, so I can write it all over 6. And so I get 6a minus 2 plus 4a plus 5. And now we're going to get 6a, 6 apples, plus 4 apples. How many apples do we have? 6 apples plus 4 apples is 10 apples. And then I go minus 2 blanks, plus 5 blanks. How many blanks do I have? 3. Over 6. Now remember that 10a plus 3 is connected, correct? They're sewn together with that plus sign. Can I take anything out of 10a plus 3? Nope. Can I cancel anything off the bottom? Like, can I take the 3 and the 6 and cancel them? No. You're done. We have a C. Hmm? We have a C here. I want you to try this one. What's common between 8 and 3? 24. You have to multiply the 8 by 3 and 3 by 8. I'm going to multiply this one by 3, this by 3, this by 8, this by 8. So I distribute my tops, I get 24y minus 9 over 24 minus sine 16y plus 8 over 24. Now I have a common denominator of 24. I'm actually, once I get the common denominator, I'm literally back to that for example 1, where I gave you common denominators, right? Same thing. So I'm going to write it all over one denominator. And then write the top. So I get uh, 24y minus 9. And then I have to remember to, dis to distribute that minus sign. So I'm going to get minus 16y minus 8. If you're someone who forgot to distribute the minus sign again, that's two in a row. That tells you that's something you're probably going to make an oopsie on. Star, 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 star. Remind yourself, remind yourself. Now, I have 24 yams. I subtract 16 yams off. I get 8 yams. And then I have negative 9 blanks minus 8 more blanks is 17 blanks over 24. Can I take anything out of this? I have 8y minus 17 is attached. Can I take the 8 and the 24 and cancel them? No. All the way 8y minus 17 is going anywhere. So there's an 8y minus 17 in the denominator. There is not. I boxed it. So for tomorrow, example 3. You're trying example 3. We're going to go through it tomorrow. Guess what I'm going to do when class starts? Check it. No phone showing is going to be accepted. The late showing. Just do it.